tell the truth. You didn't, you didn't think that there was going to be a resident leader. Two, three, three. or four. That's I for mean, sure. the last time we did That's an interview, sure. you, I, as I remember, you were pregnant, and you were very, very <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> like literally, like on the phone with my with my doctor. Like, all right, any time now. If somebody asks too serious of a question, I might be sent to the hospital. <laughs> no, but it's true, man. When we made the first movie, nobody ever thought this little European action horror thing was going to turn into a four-picture franchise, you know, especially with a female lead. I mean, it's very special, very special, and we're, we're so proud of our baby. So now your husband and the father of your baby is directing. Did he cut you a little slack in the action scene? Well, you know what? To me, action is just so fun. You know, I really love to train. I love to do new things. I love to challenge myself. Um, I don't cut myself any slack, you know? I mean, Paul would have been more than happy to, you know, use a stunt double a couple of times. Um, and we had to because I had so many clones, you know, if you don't see my face, for sure. Uh, we had other people doing stuff. But I just, I love it, you know? This is my passion. Like. That, that girl, Alice, is a part of me, and, and, you know, that's why I love going back to her so much, because I always learn something new, and I get to be this amazing superhero and, and kind of a soldier, and, you know, this, this I, I, I love that kind of stuff. I always thought of myself as somebody that could have gone into the Army, too. Like, I could have gotten into that world, that discipline, that boot camp, learning to survive. Well, Paul says when he first talked about the character with you, he was referencing Clint Eastwood, Charles Bronson, you know. Steve McQueen. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny because um, in the second, I mean, the first movie, you know, she was a completely different character. She was the audience. She was this innocent that didn't know who she was. But then I remember the second movie, I went in to do some looping for it, and my voice freaked me out so much because I was trying to be natural, and so I just talked in my normal voice, and I was like, oh my God, it just doesn't work at all. So I ended up relooping the whole movie, and I went from here to here, and everything was like this. And suddenly I was like, okay, this is Alice. She speaks like this, <laughs> you know? Not like this, like this, you know? And so I ended up, and it really set the tone for all the rest of the movies, because suddenly that's where I channeled the Clint, that's where I channeled Steve, I was like, all right, I found her, you know. And there's a nice spin in this one. She doesn't have her superpowers. So. Yeah. Yeah, Paul and I had a bit of an argument about that, because I was like, I want my superpowers. I want them. And he's like, now, now, <laughs> put your superpowers away, OK? But it, it's true, because I, I was all into being a superhero and just doing bigger and badder things. And he's like, yeah, but how is an audience going to really relate to you or have fear for you when all you need to do is like psychic blast things? And I was like, well, I guess so. I guess you're right. So, uh, but yeah, it was like, I want you to like get your hands dirty again and really like fight. You know, I want people to see you do your stunts again. And you know, what's the point of Al? I mean, where's the movie gonna go if you just keep, you know, blasting everything with psychic powers? And he's totally right. Last thing, there's gonna be a resident after Afterlife, right? <laughs> You know what? We always love our traditional sort of uh, wide shot, crane back endings. Um, you know, but it's always very organic. You know, we're never on a schedule. It's not like, hey, every year we have a new movie coming out. It's whenever Paul gets inspired to write it, the idea comes, bang, bang, bang. He pitches it to the studio. If they love it, they want to make another one, we do it, you know, but we're never on a schedule. And it's, I think that organic factor is so important for these movies. I think that's why people love them so much, because they are honestly things that we really were inspired to make. It wasn't like we were on some kind of deadline with the studio. Um, so yeah, you know, we have a lot of great ideas for it, but you know, at the same time, things have to happen naturally.